You've probably heard of CICD, but what exactly is it? Let's break it down. So CICD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery, which is a set of practices that automate the journey from writing code to deploying it in production. The idea is to reduce human error, speed up delivery, and improve software quality through automation. So starting with continuous integration, in simple terms, it's the practice of automating the process of merging code changes into a shared repository early and frequently. Every commit triggers an automated workflow on a CI server, which runs a series of checks to ensure the new code is stable, functional, and safe to integrate into the main branch. An effective CI process is built on strong foundation of well-designed, reliable automated tests. So let's go through a typical CI CD pipeline example. Suppose you have a developer who commits code to a feature branch. A pull request is then created for the code merge. Once it's approved, the code is merged into the deployment branch, which triggers the build process using tools such as Maven, Gradle, or NPM. After the build is created, it triggers the execution of test cases using tools such as Jest, JUnit, or PyTest and the test results are uploaded to the appropriate platform. Next, the pipeline initiates security vulnerability checks and static code analysis using tools such as Sonocube. Once the build passes these checks, it is uploaded to an artifact repository such as Nexus. This completes the continuous integration process, which is typically orchestrated using tools like Jenkins, AWS code pipelines, or GitLab CI. As part of the deployment phase, the build is first deployed to the development environment. Once the sanity checks pass, the deployment moves to the staging environment. After review and successful validation in staging, the deployment to production is triggered. When the final stage passes successfully, the overall process, known as continuous deployment or continuous delivery, is complete. This can be automated using tools like Ansible, Helm, or AWS Code Pipeline. Finally, Continuous feedback and monitoring occur across all stages. This completes one release cycle, but in practice, it is an ongoing and continuous process. Now, going a little deeper into CD, which stands for continuous delivery or continuous deployment, what is the difference between the two? So, continuous delivery is the practice of automatically building, testing, and preparing code changes for release to production. The process includes deploying to a staging environment and running integration tests to ensure everything works as expected. However, the final step, which is deploying to production, requires manual approval, giving teams control over when new features go live. On the other hand, continuous deployment takes automation a step further. Once the code passes all tests and validations in staging, it is automatically deployed to production without any manual intervention. This process ensures that every successful change is released to users quickly and reliably. And when you put CI and CD together, it enables faster delivery of features, helping teams release updates more frequently and respond to user needs quickly. It also allows for early detection of issues since every code change is automatically tested and verified before reaching production. With consistent automation and testing, teams achieve improved code quality and reduced manual errors, minimizing risks during deployment. And ultimately, it ensures greater release reliability, giving both developers and users more confidence in every deployment. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.